Russia's first general-purpose humanoid is going viral for its dramatic public introduction. While the world laughs, at least this viral robot isn't just some cosplayer like the last one. It's early days for the former Soviet Union's humanoid ambitions, but it could get a jolt from China, where one of the perceived leaders in the humanoid race just reported a major milestone with its own equally dramatic footage. However, the founder of the most well-funded humanoid robotics company in the West is questioning the bold claims. A robot billed as Russia's first fully autonomous humanoid is going viral for its dramatic unveiling in Moscow. The team behind the human-like machine named Idol is from the upper echelon of Russia's robotic scene. It was developed by the Moscow startup also named Idol, launched in August 2025 by Russia's new technological coalition as the former Soviet Union's answer to perceived leaders in the humanoid race like Tesla and Figure AI. The group collectively invested about $5 million into the project and hopes to raise another $50 million for future development. They report that 77% of the humanoid's components are Russian-made. They're targeting at least 93%. The coalition is led by Alexei Yuzhikov, founder of Promobot, a robotics firm known for its hyper-realistic Android bus and its service robots who've interacted with Vladimir Putin. Founded in 2015, Promobot claims a global footprint with deployments in more than 40 countries. In the U.S., Promobot's reported past users include the Baltimore-Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport and the U.S. Navy, which used its service bots for STEM events in 2023. Though media reports have called Idol the first Russian humanoid robot, that's not exactly true. The government-backed Android Technologies started developing Russia's first full-sized humanoid, called the AR-600, around 2006, and by 2012 introduced an iteration that could walk, talk, and manipulate objects. The same robotics firm developed Fetter, originally intended for rescue operations but later adapted for space travel. Also known as Skybot F-850, the humanoid traveled to the International Space Station in 2019. Like NASA's launch of the second-generation Robonaut humanoid to the ISS in 2011, it was more of a symbolic achievement than a practical breakthrough. Seeing the technology's limitations, the Russian government pivoted away from humanoid development. What makes Idol different from previous Russian humanoids is the claim that it's fully autonomous. According to the startup, all of the robot's artificial intelligence runs entirely on board, without relying on cloud servers or remote operators. Its developers insist its GPU-based system handles everything from 3D vision and movement planning to facial animation and natural language dialogue. If accurate, that would make it the world's most advanced general-purpose humanoid. But that's a big if. Standing 168 centimeters, or 6 foot 1, the new bipedal humanoid boasts a reported 67 degrees of freedom and can lift objects up to 10 kilos, or 22 pounds. Idol's developers envision it serving in manufacturing, logistics, and customer-facing roles. According to its developers, the fully electric robot runs for six hours autonomously on a single battery charge, though that's likely for standby operation rather than continuous movements. Idol says its flagship humanoid walks at speeds up to 6 kilometers or 3.7 miles per hour and can balance on uneven ground. However, it struggled on the flat surface in its first public demo. With the theme from Rocky blaring in the background, the bipedal robot took just a few steps before losing balance and toppling over in front of a live audience in Moscow. Viral footage shows part of the humanoid casing snapping off as gaps fill the room. Engineers rush to cover and remove the robot, which weighs a reported 95 kilos or 209 pounds. But the moment has been immortalized. The startup CEO, Vladimir Vatukin, told Russian state media the mishap was a learning opportunity. The company also offers a desktop variant for customer service, human robot communication studies, and entertainment applications. Integrating the human like expressive face with the biped body adds complexity that could have contributed to the fall. The silicon face, presumably developed by Promobot, 
uses 19 servo motors to express a dozen emotions and lifelike micro expressions. Combining human-like expressivity and walking has long been one of the steepest hurdles in robotics because they rely on opposite engineering priorities. Realistic facial movement demands delicate, low-torque micromotors and fine motor control for subtle expression, while full-body locomotion and balancing requires high-torque joints, fast reaction loops, and robust stabilization algorithms. Facial animatronic strain system power generate heat and demand computing resources that could otherwise go to locomotion and stabilization. Synchronizing the systems is becoming easier thanks to better lightweight motors, smarter motion control, and more accurate sensors. The growing ubiquity of research-grade humanoids from companies like Hangzhou-based Unitary Robotics is accelerating advancements. The Chinese startup Anywit Robotics, for example, created a hyper-realistic singing pop singer by integrating its lifelike robotic head with a compact Unitary G1 body. The robot, named Annie, recently appeared in this cinematic music video in which the robot mimics the 2012 Mandarin pop ballad Bubble by the Hong Kong vocalist Jem. China could dramatically accelerate Russia's humanoid ambitions by granting access to its fast-moving and well-funded ecosystem. Following high-level talks between Putin and Xi Jinping in September 2025, the Chinese government indicated it was willing to work with the Russians on next-gen artificial intelligence. How much technology China will share, whether hardware exports will be loosened, and how far the Russian Federation is willing to integrate Chinese systems into its own platforms are unsettled. Beijing supercharged the emerging market in 2023 when it made it national policy to mass-produce humanoids by 2025 and to own the sector by 2027. Heading into 2026, the People's Republic is well past its goal of manufacturing more than 10,000 humanoids before year's end. One of the companies shipping the most units is Shenzhen-based UB Tech Robotics, which just shared this footage of what it calls the world's first mass delivery of humanoids. It suggests that dozens of the firm's flagship industrial Walker S2 humanoids are being delivered to a customer. The video went viral on social media, though some, like figure founder Brett Adcock, questioned its authenticity. The founder, who recently said the progress of China's humanoid robotic scene is greatly exaggerated, pointed to ceiling lights reflecting from robots' heads as a signal the video is CGI. There's also a continuity error, where the humanoids' end effectors change from five-fingered hands to grippers to swap their own battery. Regardless, UB Tech has reportedly secured more than 800 million yuan or $112 million in orders for its Walker humanoids this year domestically. The company insists it's on track to ship more than 500 humanoids in 2025, while exceeding annual production capacity of 1,000 units. UB Tech recently demonstrated its so-called full-stack logistics solution developed through its subsidiary UQI that connects its Walker humanoids to an autonomous delivery vehicle and a family of mobile bots to handle every part of warehouse and factory operations. According to UB Tech, the system has been tested at Chinese factories including at EV Giant B, YD's industrial park. It's now scaling toward wider adoption across manufacturing and retail. Looking ahead, UB Tech anticipates shipping at least 5,000 industrial humanoids in 2026 and is also preparing a push into the consumer market with a $20,000 home companion plan. Barely known in the West, UB Tech started piloting its humanoids in the real world years ago before rivals even introduced their first prototypes. The company started out selling small robots for young learners in 2012, expanding its focus to industrial automation in recent years. For an in-depth look at the unlikely rise of UB Tech, check the related video.